To answer some questions in advance that would undoubtedly come up during this tutorial, let's examine the runtime environment that this tutorial was created in. In this demonstration, we want to give you an idea of the environment that this demonstration was created in. This demonstration was done on a VMware virtual machine where all the services are running in a single image. A more typical enterprise environment would have multiple machines or images representing various sets of services. For example, the Explorer server is often not on the same machine as the content server, and these services are especially never configured where an end user, like us, would be developing on the same machines as where the services are configured. So just keep in mind that these services are normally distributed in a typical environment. If you're going to use a virtual machine image like our demonstration environment, where you have all of the services on one machine, we need to start all the services first. I've created a batch script that does that for me. It stops all the services, cleans up various work areas to free up some disk space, and then starts the services in the correct order. We can use Task Manager to quickly show you the key services that are running as a result. First, of course, is the database. We're using Microsoft SQL Server Express. Then the Explore Index Server and the Index Agent for the Corp doc base. Here's the doc broker and a documentum instance, an instance for the doc base that we're calling Corp. We're using Corp to represent the deployment environment for XDP applications. We have the method server, thumbnail server, another explorer service, and probably one of the more important services to point out for this environment are the two key web application servers. So you can see we're using the VMware vFabric application server. There's two instances of it. The first is configured for port 7000 that hosts the BAM and BPS services, but it also hosts the Documentum Administrator as well as XMS Agent service. XMS is what's used to deploy your XCP applications to the repository. The second instance is called XCP instance in this case, and this is configured for port 8000. This app server is where you run your test runs for your application. Then you have some CTS and CIS services. We've also created some handy desktop shortcuts. So there's a link to DA. You have a shortcut to the application that you're going to create for the normal instance. And then you have the preview mode instance, and we'll talk about that more later. And then a bunch of other shortcuts. We've also done some configuration in DA. So in DA, we created a cabinet where all of our objects for our application will be stored. And then we configured a work queue policy and a category and a work queue that are going to be used by this application. So let's close DA, and now we're ready to build our application.